all that is seen and unseen is under God's sovereign power. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread Ministries was written by Jennifer Benson Schultz. Did you know that the microbes on just one of your hands outnumber all of the people on earth? Or that millions of microbes could fit in the eye of a needle? These one-celled living organisms are too small for us to see without a microscope, yet they live in the air, soil, water, and even our bodies. We constantly interact with them, even though their world is completely beyond our senses. You know, the realities of the spiritual world are also typically not visible to us humans, as the prophet Balaam discovered. He was trudging along the road with his two servants, when his donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his drawn sword in his hand. Now to avoid the angel, the animal walked into a field, crushed Balaam's foot against a wall, and lay down with Balaam still on her back. Well, Balaam was angry, and he struck the donkey. He didn't realize something supernatural was going on, until God opened his eyes. You know, the Bible tells us that a spiritual world does exist, and we may sometimes encounter realities from that realm, both good and bad. Because of this, we are encouraged to be watchful, prayerful, and prepared. Just as God rules the world we see, He also rules the unseen world. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading comes from Numbers, chapter 22, verses 21 through 31. Balaam got up in the morning, saddled his donkey, and went with the Moabite officials. But God was very angry when he went, and the angel of the Lord stood in the road to oppose him. Balaam was riding on his donkey, and his two servants were with him. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand, it turned off the road into a field. Balaam beat it to get back on the road. Then the angel of the Lord stood in a narrow path through the vineyards with walls on both sides. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it pressed close to the wall, crushing Balaam's foot against it. So he beat the donkey again. Then the angel of the Lord moved on ahead and stood in a narrow place where there was no room to turn, either to the right or to the left. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it lay down under Balaam, and he was angry and beat it with his staff. Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth, and it said to Balaam, What have I done to you to make you beat me these three times? Balaam answered the donkey, You have made a fool of me. If only I had a sword in my hand, I would kill you right now. The donkey said to Balaam, Am I not your own donkey, which you have always ridden to this day? Have I been in the habit of doing this to you? No, he said. Then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with his sword drawn. So he bowed low and fell face down. That's today's scripture reading from Numbers, chapter 22, verses 21 through 31. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, help us to be strong in you and in the power of your might. Open our eyes so that we may see the spiritual realities you have for us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And you can help us spread the good news to those who need to hear it. Share our daily bread with your friends and family on Facebook and Twitter. You never know who needs a touch today. Today's encouragement was brought to you from Our Daily Bread Ministries.